Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics Class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in QSAT Kochi. This is Development of Surfaces 9. A vertical cylinder is standing on its base on the ground. A vertical cylinder whose diameter is 50 and altitude 70 mm. Stand on its base on its base. There is a hole drilled onto the cylinder. How is it the hole? The hole is like this. So, this is the plan of the cylinder, this is the elevation of the cylinder, A, B, C, D up to L, the points of the base, A1, B1, C1 up to L1, the points of the top, A dash, A1 dash, B dash, B1 dash, C dash, C1 dash and so on. Now, a hole is drilled like this, a square hole. How is the hole? Hole is not like this. Hole is not like this. The hole is like this. How is it? All sides of the square equally inclined to HP. That is 40 by 40. So this hole is drilled through the center. So what do you do? The side of the hole is 25 mm. So the diagonal is 25 into root 2. 35.35. 35.35. 25 root 2. Okay. Draw a horizontal line through the center. Measure half of 35.35. Half of 35.35 up and down. The diagonal side is 25, diagonal is 35.35. Take its half from the center, mark to all the four sides and connect, you get the square. Agree? Square. This is the total lateral surface, development of the lateral surface of the cylinder. How do you draw it? Draw a horizontal line. Take this code in your small divider which is moved by rotating the wheel threads. Place it 12 times and decline that is a circumference. I mean, uh, that's a, this is a circumference. And A, B, C, D up to L, A. A1, B1, C1 up to L1, A1. That's a development of the lateral surface of the cylinder. Now, what about the hole? The hole is drilled onto that. How many points we have? Let us assume. Let us calculate or assess. One is there on the existing generator. One, another is here, another is here, another is here, another is here. How many points? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six available points. The extreme end is not available, the extreme other end also is not available. If this is available, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is not sufficient because the, the side of the square in the development is not going to be straight it is going to be curved slightly curved that means that is not sufficient let us see what the, what we do draw a vertical line to this corner and one here make this m dash and this n dash m dash n dash very simple drop it down M N here M1 N1 on the other side it's a through hole goes through here and goes out so that gives you two points then from the center take some distance to the left side draw a line same distance to the right side draw another line Same distance, same distance. This distance is equal to that distance. The board is slipping so that the pen moves. That's a problem. Now, Mn, this is Q dash, this is R dash. This is Q. This is R. This is Q1, this is R1. Now, let us mark the points. Where are the points? 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, 12 dash. Now, between B and C, there is a point called DM. Take this small distance and mark from B. What is it? Capital M. Draw a vertical line at M. Take this distance BM and same is the distance FN. Mark to the left of F. Why 
What is this? This is N. Similarly, after K, uh, if you take this distance BM, same is the distance of L M1 towards K. Between L and K, from L, mark the same distance to get M1. M1. On the way from L to K, on the way from L to K, same distance. Similarly, on the way from H to I, same distance. H to I. This is N1. Agreed? M, N, M1, N1. M, N, M1, L1. Okay. Next is Q. Where is Q? Q is between C and D. Measure the small distance CQ, CQ and the mark. Q. Say, mark the same distance on ED, E to D. E to D. R. Ah. Then, if it is E to D, I to J, R1. I to J, R1. Then, same is K to Q1. K to K to J, Q1. K to J, Q1. Okay. I could have taken this distance and mark on either side. D to Q and D to R. D to Q and D to R. Similarly, J to R1 and J to Q1. J to R1 and J to Q1. Okay. You have got all the point, all the vertical lines where the points are to fall. Now, draw a horizontal line through one, one dash and seven dash. This is one, this is seven, this is seven, this is one. Assume the same name on, name on the other side of the course. Two, two and six, two dash and six dash. Very light lines. 12 dash and 8 dash. I will draw these lines and finally I will draw, connect, locate the points to save time. 3 dash and 5 dash. Now, one, two, three, four. I am actually marking, referring this itself. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Similarly, one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Connect them. At the entry, At the other. The problem of slippage of the pen is too much. So this is not straight, that's the problem. Smooth curve, smooth curve, smooth curve, smooth curve, and there was. It's a very important question. This question has come numerous times. You are checking whether you know this curve. So to get the curve, it is 100 percent necessary that you First of all, divide the cylinder into 12 equal parts. Many textbooks divide the circle into 8 equal parts. That is completely disadvantageous. Don't go for that. Divide it into 12 equal parts. Then take these 
green and the red generators. You are taking actually two generators, eight generators. One is between B and C, one is between C and D, then D and E, E and F, then on the back side H and I, I and J, J and K, and K and L. Eight generators you are additionally taking, on which the points of the circle, I mean square hole, lies. Now, based on this, I would like to discuss another problem. Suppose the hole is not like this, but it is squarish like this, with the two sides vertical and two sides parallel. Square and hole is like this. Can you tell me or can you think what is the true shape of the hole in the development or what is the shape of the hole in the development? The whole shape will be a rectangle whose height is equal to this height and width is equal to what? This arc length. The whole is square there, but in the plan it will be an arc. So this length of the arc will be the length of the rectangle, height of the uh, rectangle will be the side of the square. So it's a rectangle, both sides. Now, suppose it is a circular hole, same procedure you will do. Take minimum 12 points, take accordingly generators, project them to the development, you get an ellipse here, you get an ellipse here. That question also has come numerous times. It is very important that you take the two end points. Then, if there is one, it is already cutting a generator, a generator take one more generator, that's all. If you consider this particular portion, end point is necessary, one is already there, one is already here, take something at the middle. Four points on this side. Similarly, on one fourth of the one fourth of the hole, one fourth of the hole there must be four points. So finally we will get to the point. So a circular hole also has come numerous times for university examinations. It's a pretty important question. Thank you.